this is based off of a question and they're having a little bit of trouble with their Harbor Freight uh, quick change airbrush. Uh, so I am just going to switch out my Harbor Freight quick change airbrush with the new one. Uh, mine has been around the block, so uh, it's not a bad idea for me to switch it out. There is other work going on here, so there you go. All right, um, here's my airbrush. Uh, this hose is working just fine, and I don't like the kinks in it, so I tend to warm my air hose up and straighten it out. Uh, I find it gets less tangles and knocks fewer things over. Um, I'm just so I'm just taking off the hose. If I were replacing the hose and everything, inside of here is a little connector. That is a quarter inch connector. That quarter inch connector then connects to one eighth. I already have that on. I'm switching out this airbrush, which has seen some stuff. And I'm just gonna screw this together. I have air come out of here. So the way that this guy works is it draws air over top of this tube from this tube. This tube shoots out the air. The paint is in here. It creates a, a low pressure and high pressure inside and that forces the liquid out. So that ratio in between those two posts is very important, that ratio right there. And you can adjust that by screwing this one out or by screwing this one up. So those two adjustments are what you have. The rest, it kind of just clicks into place. Okay, so this is latex mask paint. It is one third distilled water, one third casting latex, one third latex house paint from Home Depot, interior flat. And I actually have a little bit less than one third water in here uh, because I just pour a little bit out for my homies before I mix because I like it a hair thicker. I can always thin it with distilled water later if I need it to be a little less. Always shake up stuff. If you are using Black Lagoon Supply Company casting latex, that is about three times as thick as most other casting latex. In that case, you'll have to thin your latex more in order to get this consistency of paint. Your latex should not be any thicker than buttermilk. This is the same latex mask paint, different color. Before I buy and I leave the store, I make sure that none of these little brass tubes are broken off. Sometimes those can be broken off in storage or transport. And just make sure none of those are broken. Again, one third casting latex, one third distilled water, one third latex house paint from Home Depot, interior flat. Now this one happens to spray well out of the container. Let's see how this one does. Uh, this one happens to spray great. Uh, my airbrush is on, uh, my air compressor is on 70 PSI and I don't, I don't have it regulated here. Uh, I don't have it regulated. So I think this is going to be like 70 PSI right out of the compressor. This is how much it's coming out. Now, if I twist this, see that's a good ratio right there because that's coming out. If I put this up a little too high by twisting this one, as I unscrew it goes up, I'm not getting as much out. Let's go a little higher even. And now I'm getting even less. So that adjustment is kind of critical for how much you get out. Let's go down lower. I'm gonna screw it down lower and let's see how it does all the way down low. Now it feels like it's all the way against that bottle. And it's, it's just, it's not coming out. It's not coming out. It's not clogged, it's just not adjusted. This is screwed down too low. See how close that is? It's still pretty much too low to get much out. I'm getting some out, but not a lot. So let's unscrew that. Bring it up, and now, now I'm rocking. If screwing this up and down doesn't work, try unscrewing this a little bit, and that puts this guy closer. 
See how that moves him closer? This is an older bottle of latex mask paint. It's been sitting in this airbrush bottle for a long time, uh, maybe two weeks or so. So you can see it has separated. I'm gonna mix it up so it'll unseparate. Shake it, shake, 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 shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Okay, I feel like that has been shaken. And now I have to do something also very important. In this bottle, there are two holes, all right? There is a hole right here in the plastic. That allows air to be drawn into the bottle. And the air going in is what pushes out the uh, paint on the other side. So I'm just kind of scraping away, and that shows me where that little hole is, and I push this pin down in that little hole. I'm gonna assume that this hole is clogged, and I'm, this one right here, because it's been sitting for two weeks. So I'm gonna take this airbrush, I'll put it here and see, right, nothing is coming out, nothing at all, because that hole's clogged. All right, that same pin, it's a sewing pin, it's a little one, not a safety pin, not a big T pin, a little pin. Right down into that hole. A little bit of stabbing, a little bit of pumping action, maybe some spinning of the pin, and now that should be clear to let paint come through. Two holes, ah, 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 look at that. Now we have some orange happy action. Um, also, if it is sputtering on you and it's not spraying well, all right, often there's a clog right there like near the tip, and while holding it down, take your finger and tap that. See how much that changed the pressure and got me more flow. While it's running, you tap right in between those two with your finger. Pow, pow, pow. Alan got an airbrush like pow, pow, pow. Yeah, just like that. And then that will keep this guy spraying nicely. And I'll do it kind of midstream and not even realize it if it's giving me a little bit of a sputter. Um, now you can, when you are done using your airbrush paint, take have buy like a box of a thousand of these pins, which is like five dollars, and stab them into the bottle, and that is plugging that hole. And when you want to use, you know, put one into each one, and then when you're ready to use the paint again, uh, pull those two pins out, and you're good to go. You don't have to unclog it. I have a little bit of a slow flow, so I'm tapping. And that increased my flow. And sometimes it's plastic, so it can get a little bit warped. And if it gets skewed off to one side or the other, that's not gonna help either. And I, it just, I just help find it helps to torque it into the position you want a little bit past and hold it for a second, let it go. I mean, it's plastic. So, um, but well worth the 10 bucks. I hope that this helped. That is the Harbor Freight airbrush, quick change airbrush, normally $9.99, awesome for the price. Boom shakalaka.